I got a new tattoo this week. It's this one. It's only like three days old, so it's still kind of healing, but it's a stick and poke. Isn't that beautiful? My tattoo artist created the design um, on a shrinky dink originally. She made a bunch of different designs and then she offered these designs as flash. And then she gave me the shrinky dink at the end of the appointment. I'm completely obsessed with this whole idea. I started this Kiki rug a few days ago. I did it on my live on TikTok. That was my first time I've ever went live on TikTok or anywhere. It was pretty fun actually. It was extremely chaotic. I didn't have a good setup at all before I went live. This is what I have done so far. I'm so excited for this Kiki one. I think it's gonna be really cool. She looks weird without a face. This is the front, but it's not finished yet, obviously. I'm super overexposed by this window, but I just want to say that I'm about to cut all of these out. I just finished the kiki and I'm so happy about it. I think it turned out really cute. So yeah, I'm giddy and I need to go cut it out. Okay, goodbye. No more stinky glue. Yay.
Today is Friday, December 2nd. My goal for the day is to carve both of these rugs, this Kiki and the chopper rug. They're really close to being done. I just need to carve the top of the yarn to make sure everything's flat and then go through all the lines to make everything like really crispy and nice looking. So that's my plan for today. So it's Friday, December 2nd, and next weekend on Saturday and Sunday, so December 9th and 10th, I have two different markets I'm going to be selling at. So I'm kind of in like grind mode to finish enough product to sell those markets to be able to make enough money for the month of December. I am going back home to Minnesota December 20th, so my shop is going to shut down like December 19th probably. So basically I'm just in crunch mode to get a lot done. Last week for Thanksgiving, my friends and I went to the desert. We went to Moab, Utah, which is like a four hour drive from where I live. It was very fun. I'll definitely include some clips in the vlog if I haven't already. next week my goal is to have both of these rugs finished I've got a few more rugs that are already done that I'm gonna be selling and I really want to work on more clay earrings because I've sold most of them I think I only have like three pairs left so I need to make more clay earrings I started doing that I just have to paint them and like do all the designs um, like all the detail work and then I need to seal them and I also want to make a lot of manga earring books I think I've shown you those before. I have a feeling those might be kind of popular for gift giving. I'm not sure if my audience at the markets will be into anime or manga, but it's what I'm into, so I might as well just make some and see what happens. My TikTok about the manga earrings went like, not viral, but it got a decent amount of attention. And I got like a bunch of sales that week and I was feeling really confident, which was fantastic. I made a decent amount of money in October. But then like November came and no one was buying the manga earrings anymore, which was really weird because I guess like the video just kind of stopped circulating. So I think I need to make a little bit more advertisement for those earrings. My brain's feeling like very full with all the stuff I have to do. But yesterday on my Notion, I just did like a huge brain dump. I used my calendar on Notion to just like put a task for every single day for like the next two and a half weeks. So I know that if I do all of those tasks on the day that I designated, I will get everything done. Um, it's just whether or not I can stay focused enough and like motivated enough to get it all done, because it is a lot of work. I think I'm just gonna put on some Oran High School Host Club, which I've been really, really into. I watched it when I was a kid, like in middle school or like high school, um, and I haven't watched it since then, so I'm re-watching it. It's so good, it's just as good as I remember. Okay, I'm gonna stop blabbing and get to work. I've really been procrastinating starting this task of carving because I'm kind of nervous. I have to brag a little bit. This is just something I'm doing for fun. Um, I am learning how to crochet and I made this hat. It's the first thing I've ever like made out of crochet. I've done a bunch of granny squares just to kind of like learn. It's so cozy. I definitely messed up a few things. And like the butthole of the hat is not directly on top of my head. 
because I definitely like lost a few stitches along the way so the hat started getting like smaller uh, but I'm already working on my second hat and it's looking way better I got a compliment from this really nice lady at Trader Joe's about my beanie and I was so excited to be like I made it <laughs> my friend Brie makes these Shrek crochet hats and they're just amazing I can't even imagine how she makes all her crochet hats I'll link her page here because you have to see the Shrek hats and she has her own wool shop too okay time to work until the day that it comes a pumpkin I didn't record yesterday, but I sent out all my patron mail. It's my first month on Patreon, so that was really exciting. Um, I didn't expect anyone to join it, uh, but I just decided to start it so I could like get used to how it works and like learn before more people join. But a few people did join, and it sounds like more people are even interested in joining, so really excited about that. It'll just be nice to have like a small amount of income that's actually like reliable every month and I just love making cute stickers so I'm I'm psyched on it anyway it's not finished or cut out but I designed a little thank you sticker all right this is just a quick shameless plug this is the sticker for the month for December on patreon it's a little baby artist cat sticker it's got these really nice pinks and greens in it it's a little bit cloudy today so I don't know if you can really tell if you join this month, you'll get this, and then you'll also get a thank you sticker that's like laminated and cut out, all nice. Um, I just don't have any prepped yet, because I sent them all out yesterday. I have a really busy week ahead of me, so I thought I'd just like come on here and update you guys and talk through what I'm going to do. So it is Tuesday today. But you know, it's Tuesday. It's, it's Tuesday, right? Yeah, it's Tuesday. December 6th, um, December 10th and December 11th, I have two different markets. After those markets, anything that's left over will go up on my website. So if there's stuff that's left over, that'll be your chance to get it for the holidays. My shop is gonna be open December 13th through 20th, but my patrons get early access. So my patrons will get access to my shop on the 12th. So if I don't have a lot of stuff left, they'll basically get like the first chance to snag something and then it'll open to the public the next day. I should have plenty of stickers and like manga earrings. It's really just like the rugs that might run out. Yesterday, which was Monday, was kind of rough for me. Mondays are always just like a little bit hard for everyone. But yesterday I finished up two rugs that I'm really, really proud of. Uh, tomorrow is the day that I like shower and look nice and then take pictures of everything. Cause my rugs are big. So I like kind of have to be in the photo. So, and I'll show you those rugs. I'm really, really proud of them. Uh, they took me a lot of time, so they are going to be priced quite a bit higher than normal. But I'm also going to have some lower priced options too that are also really cool. Um, I won't spoil it yet. You'll see it in my footage for tomorrow. Okay, but for today, I have so many earrings to make. I have a bunch of clay pieces that are like right behind the camera actually. They're clay pieces. I did the base color of paint and now I just need to like go put all the details in and then seal it up so it looks all glossy and it's like really durable and whatnot. 
those are going to have to dry before I can put the findings on them, so maybe I'll do the findings tomorrow. And then I also make manga earrings, and I don't have a single pair ready for the event this weekend. Events. I do have a decent start. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but these are all manga pages, and these are all manga covers. I also have some like smaller trinkets that I'd like to paint for the markets. I just, I'm running out of time. <laughs> I'm just running out of time. I've done a bunch of markets before, but I still want to do a mock table display because this time I'm only going to get a, a six foot table. In the past, I've been used to a little bit more space, especially because my rugs take up a lot of space. Since November was kind of rough for me with like having surgery and I missed a bunch of work, I really need to make a lot of money before Christmas time when I take another like super long break. I'm going home to visit my family and my boyfriend's family for Christmas, December 20th through January 1st. So I'm not gonna be working those days as far as like official work. I'm just gonna try and like sketch a lot and like rest. All right, so today you guys are gonna follow me around as I make earrings though. So I hope that excites you. I'm sorry, I'm so tired. <laughs> I haven't made any coffee yet, so I should go make some green tea or something. Um, something caffeinated. I don't know if I need coffee. I feel like yesterday the coffee kind of sidetracked me. I drank too much. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna get started. Lee's doing a premiere right now for her latest vlog, so I'm just gonna watch that as I start working. guys voiceover brie here i thought this would be a good time to just kind of talk to you guys about what happened in november for me i've kind of been a little bit absent from youtube i've been like really behind on work <laughs> so i had planned on uploading a video to youtube in december but in november i got appendicitis and had to get my appendix removed i had surgery the same day that i started feeling symptoms my appendix didn't burst or anything, but it was like super inflamed and painful. And with all the days of work that I missed out on because of surgery and recovery, I really fell behind on all my work, especially because I was signed up for some holiday markets in December. Um, but I'm back now, I'm fully healed, and I'm just really happy to be making more videos. It was eventful, but pretty boring work-wise because I did get a lot done. <laughs> Also, I just went full time with my art in September, so only having like a couple months before having to take spontaneous time off for a random surgery, but yeah, now I have some medical debt, so. <laughs> if you like the stuff that I make, um, maybe consider buying something. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> I'm about to go run an errand quick. My neighbor is giving away some of their yarn, so I'm gonna go get it from them for free, so that's really nice. If you guys are not on your Buy Nothing Facebook page or like the app or whatever, you should join it. It's basically where people just like get rid of stuff that they don't want to bring to the thrift store or they want to like see if their neighbors want first. And the cool thing about the Buy Nothing groups is that they're pretty localized groups. So I know that like if I respond to anyone within the group, they're going to be like a neighbor. Like they're only going to be at most like two miles away. Um, but usually they're like closer than that. Cool. I'm going to go get that yarn. Hopefully it's good. They didn't say how much they have or what colors or anything like that. So we'll see. All right, I'm back. That probably took a whole 10 minutes. It was only like four minutes away. There's not a ton in here, but I'm definitely going to use all of this stuff. There's a lot of this color. This color I'll definitely use. There's like some white. What is this? Oh, that's funny. They got this from the Clever Octopus, which is the secondhand art store in Salt Lake City. So it's like triple secondhand, which is so funny. Uh, yeah. 
now I'm gonna work on more clay stuff. My camera died, so I kind of stopped recording. I've got some like goose earrings I need to paint and these little archway earrings. I've got some cats. Later today, I need to work on my manga earrings. I'd like to do a few of each series so I have some options for people at the market. I don't have any of them done and the market is this weekend and I have other shit to do so I'll probably just be doing earrings all day until I go to bed. Um, but that's okay. The manga earrings are a little bit more chill so I'll probably do those in the evening because I don't really need like the sunlight for those. Whereas painting little clay charms I want to do it when I'm like at least somewhat awakened during the day. I'm pretty tired today, but it's kind of a good day to just like sit at my desk and just like paint little trinkets. So I'm not complaining. I think it's gonna be very fun to do for the rest of the day. This is my first time making these little goose earrings. You'll see them soon. Um, I think they're really cute. Also the air dry clay is really light. So I really don't think they're gonna feel heavy. So I'm really excited to see how they turn out. All right back to work. This is one of my favorite design and one of my most popular. I normally make them asymmetrical and on one side it'll be like a chain going around. But I think this time I'm just gonna see how the staircases do together as a set. Some people might not be into asymmetrical earrings like I am, so we'll see. I kind of want to micro crochet some little scarves or like little bows for these geese. I've never micro crocheted before. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, hey, that's one of my wish crystals. 
Beatles. You can wish the hole in your wall to be fixed if you'd like. Oh, oh, darn. That's a piece missing. I don't care, I'll still eat it. Just go to eat a good chunk of it. Otherwise, it doesn't work right, basically. So I made this pair of earrings. This lighting is not great. But anyway, so I made this pair of earrings uh, as a prototype like a while ago. And I love them a lot. So I really want to make ones like this that I can sell, these little vases. So that is kind of my goal for the rest of these earrings. I did a lot already. I have the background done. November was kind of a series of unfortunate events for me and my boyfriend and my cats. Nothing major, we're all fine, thankfully, but like my boyfriend got into a car accident because someone ran out of a red light and his vehicle got totaled, so we had to figure that out. My cat had to go to the vet because she had some chin acne and I just felt really bad for her. And then along with that, I obviously had the appendicitis, so it's just kind of been like a long a long end of the year. Um, I'm really looking forward to the new year to just kind of reset and just kind of have some time to relax over the holidays with my family. Today was supposed to be my photo op day for all my rugs and everything that's done, but there's not a speck of sun in the sky. It's ridiculously cloudy today. I think tomorrow's supposed to snow, but maybe the snow will give me like a little bit more light since it'll be like reflective. Not super ideal, but I'm kind of feeling lazy and like I don't want to take pictures anyway. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna keep working on earrings because I need to finish some up. And then I might do my mock table display today instead of tomorrow. I have a bunch of clay charms that I finished yesterday, but I just have to put like all of the earring fixings on them. Oh, so I'm gonna watch something and do that. Last night I was watching The Parent Trap, the Lindsay Lohan version, and I didn't finish that. So I'll probably finish that one. That's why we came up with the solution we have. 
You guys, here she is. I'm so proud of this one. Okay, I'm really glad I waited until today to take the pictures because the sun is out. I got my pictures done already and then I redressed in my dirty clothes because I need to do a mock table setup for my markets. Um, I really just want to be like really prepared and have a pretty looking table. So I'm gonna go get my table for my car, which is like down the block. So I'm gonna go carry that all the way over here, bring it up the stairs, and then I think I'm gonna put it on this wall behind me. My TV is on this wall, and I think I'm gonna wanna use that. So we're gonna put it against this wall and just kinda set everything up. All right, I'm gonna go get it. I did it! It wasn't that bad. I grabbed the lighter of the two tables that I own, so now I'm gonna just set this up. This table was super dirty because my friends and I used this table for our Thanksgiving dinner when we were like camping in the desert. So it's just like full of dust. So I'm just cleaning it off so I don't get the tablecloths all dirty. Now I can't put my tablecloths. I thought I knew where they were, but I guess I don't. This is why you do a mock table setup. All right, peer back. I'm gonna go find it. Oh my god. You can jump up there, Quincy. Is he gonna do it? Look at him. Why doesn't he want to jump up? He wants to, but he's not going to. He's very confused by it. Oh, come on. Oh, I distracted him. I shouldn't have said anything. minutes looking for the tablecloths and didn't find them. I realize I'm also missing a couple other things. I think they're all in one like short bin together and I'm hoping they're in my boyfriend's car. We like moved a few things back and forth between our cars last week so I hope it's in there. Um, otherwise I'm gonna have to buy some new stuff because I, I don't know. I've looked freaking everywhere. Let 
think that looks good. Not the overall display, but just the fact that the tiger's hanging up. I made three layers of this grid wall, and then I have hooks on the back of the tiger, so I just connected the hook to a hanger. And we're good. Now I'm debating what to put on the other sides.